If you have a reverb pedal, but you don't know which type of reverb to use depending on the situation, it's gonna be the perfect video for you. I'm gonna demonstrate all types of reverbs and tell you what is the best use for each. Let's start with the artificial reverb category because it's the most common. And the first one is the spring reverb. It sounds like this. So this is a very bright sounding reverb and very bouncy and it's more common because we find it on many amps. You have a real spring reverb tank where it's usually two springs that are vibrating physically to give you the reverb. Nowadays we can recreate that with pedals too but I think if you want to get the real feel and the real bounciness of a spring reverb you have to try it on an amp. Uh, but this one on my Strymon Big Sky is quite decent. If you really hear and you pay attention to the tail of the reverb, you can almost hear it vibrating. It's not linear, it's not smooth, right? And that is really the kind of tone that you're gonna get with spring. So if you are into surf rock, this is, this is a must to use it, like Dick Dale, right? So that's the kind of reverb to use for that. But I think it's also very useful if you play like short, staccato, like syncopated music, like reggae or something. Like Very useful and just in general, if you need more bite out of whatever you're playing, the spring reverb is gonna give you that bite, that boingness, right, from the springs. So it's really nice. The second one in that artificial category is the plate reverb. So traditionally, it was by used by having a giant plate of metal and make it making it uh, vibrate and you're gonna get the reverb in that way. So it sounds like this. <laughs> So it sounds bright like the spring does, but it's much smoother, right? You don't really get some bounciness or artifacts or something. Because of that, I think it's a classic reverb tone that you can use it all around for almost anything, right? You can hear it on the Beatles records in the 60s, and from that point, it was used pretty much anywhere. Nowadays, we don't use real giant plates of metals, right? We can uh, use a pedal for that, but it's a great all around, right? So if you have a longer decay, it's just a perfect reverb for ambience. <laughs> Just beautiful, the plate reverb. The second category is the natural reverbs. Now we want to emulate the real reverberation of a room. That's why we have the room reverb. So now it's to emulate the sound of being in a real room. You can be in a small room or a bigger studio, but usually you get uh, less reflections and it's much shorter in length. It sounds like this. <laughs> Right? So it's a really short reverb and you can use it as an always on reverb, especially if you just want a little bit of air, right? If you play with your dry signal without reverb. <laughs> It sounds too dry, but you don't necessarily want to, to have a wash in the background. If you play like pop or rock, you don't need an ambient reverb in the background. So having the room, just giving you some air, right? So, so that's dry. 
and that's the room. Short and sweet, and it's more like felt rather than heard, right? So if you play for a few minutes with it, you're gonna forget that it's there, but as soon as you're gonna turn it off, you're gonna notice that something's missing, right? So that's great, and the opposite is the hull reverb. So now it's gonna emulate the many reflections of a big concert hall, a very, very big room. So you're gonna get longer decays, and that's gonna give you a warmer tone also with your reverb. It sounds like this. much longer and warmer. So I think it's a great reverb for ambience, but especially if you want to play a solo piece like I did. It just has like a full-bodied sound, it's warm, it's perfect, but the downside of having a full-bodied sound is that if you want to layer your guitar many types, many times on top uh, of another, like I do, uh, I do some looping songs on my channel, then it could get a little bit muddy because of that warmth. So I prefer to use a plate reverb in that case where I can addition many different kinds of layers and it's always going gonna fit. But if you use a hall that might get muddy, so uh, that's why. And then you might have so many other types of reverbs if you have a reverb pedal with multi-functions. It's always going to be variations on those. You're gonna use the room hall or plate as a base and we're gonna either add something something on, on top like modulation or one of the most populars, the shimmer reverb where we add an octave on top that's regenerative. It sounds like this. So it's great people love that because it gives you like an orchestra or, or a violin following your sound. It's ethereal, it's ambient, it's sweet. So that's something you can add modulation effects or an extra octave or something on top of your bass of plate, room, or hall, and then you have the reverbs where it changes the behavior of the reverb, like having a swell reverb where it's just gonna swell it in, a duck reverb where it's gonna cut as soon as you stop playing, or something like a reverse reverb, like this. <laughs> Right? And you can get very creative with that. So for example, if I put the mix knob 100% up, I won't have my dry signal, but now I can play through the reverb. Only. And now if you add a lot of decay to that, it can get very interesting. For example, I use that in some of my songs. If you want to get some recommendations on the best reverb pedals for any budget, you can download my gear buying guide for any budget. It's the first link in the description box below. I have 10 plus years experience making demos of various pedals on my channel and I can give you my best recommendations. I even have a free option as a plugin that is really good, but if you have a low, mid or high priced budget, I'm gonna give you the best choices for each so that 
that you can get the best reverb pedal for your needs and I have many other recommendations in that guide for delays and loopers and volume pedals and everything that you need to play ambient guitar music like I do on my channel. So it's my gift to you for watching my video until the end. You can get it first link in the description box. Thank you very much for watching and until next time. Au revoir.